Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a crude YouTuber that's almost had a year long no buy. And today it is another part in my 13 days of red, so I guess you all know what I'm doing and today it is time for a palette that starts with a T. And I was like, I think all the Uva's Place palettes is called The Saharan, The Magic. The Masquerade. But I do actually have a palette from US Place that is called The Tribe. So the Tribe palette or Tribe, yeah, Tribe palette. So I was like, this is okay because I, it was like, if we're going to take The. Yeah. So I'm using The Tribe today. And uh, this palette looks like this and this has been my like absolute favorite palette from Uva's Place. It has some amazing shades and this I, f I have the feeling that this has been one of the palettes from Uva's Place that people were like bummed out if they didn't got it. Okay maybe I can start with my makeup and then go in to this. So I'm going to prime my eyes and start with the look. So first I maybe want to get this out of the way. I know that US Place are like cancelled for some. I have no say in this. I am not... Um, I have not been digging into what has happened. I know it was some problems with how they... I, I'm not going into that. I do not agree. The little I have heard. I don't think it's okay to do it as a brand but... This video is not about that. And okay, if we just go into the Tri palette, this came out, I don't know how many years it was. But it like took YouTube, <laughs> the beauty world, under its wings. Like this was so, so loved. And I think this was really unique when it came. I actually think that I want to do an orange look today and not the green look. And yeah, this was really loved <laughs> when it came and I know that a lot of people that I follow did really love this palette and I did as well. This was like one of my first absolutely favorite green palette and this was just like perfect in US Place collection and it has some really like unique and cool shades like all the four shimmers are really really cool. This is really cool and like this one is also really cool. I'm using this one now. And it was like really hyped when it came. And then it continued to be really loved. But then like they discontinue it. And I think it was like your last chance to get a dry palette. And I guess the people that thought they was never going to be able to get it, bought it then, but then it apparently came back and then it was discontinued again and I know that some were like really upset about it and I don't get it. If you're going to discontinue a pile of people, it creates a FOMO with people and if you then bring it back without like announcing it, uh, I guess the people are going to be a little bit mad about it. And I can... A part of me can like understand that, but at the same time... If you only buy a palette out of FOMO... Maybe that is not a palette that you really should buy. In my opinion. But yeah, you do whatever you want, but I think like... If you're afraid of the foam, okay, and also like I have been on a no buy for almost a year, so I guess that if I have talked about this last year, I don't think that I would have had the same feelings actually. I think I would have different feelings about it. But yeah, if you're buying something out of FOMO, I don't think you deep down really should have bought it and I guess that you know that as well. And it's now like I want to have this on like my whole lid but I don't know if I want to go in with this or this to deepen it down and if I want to do it before or after. 
Maybe I should go in with this one now, like a little bit out here and then also a tiny bit in my crease. This is one of these like pukey, <laughs> dirty, disgusting colors, which I love. I love these types of shades. I think they are really crunchy and cool. I think this might go good over this orange. But yeah, this tri palette. I think it's my top two from Eva's Place. I do really like the Nomad palette as well. And I think I like that better. That is like a little sister to this one, I think. But I haven't bought a Eva's Place palette for such a long time. I don't know when it happened. It wasn't it was long before like the cancel thing with Eva's Place. I bought the uh, was it six pan palettes? You know these berries, nudes, chocolate, violet. I don't know. I bought four of them. I I think it was one that I never used, and the other ones I did use like once. And. Uh, I guess there was when I stopped loving US Place. US Place was for a long time one of my favorite brands. Like the Zulu palette was my first really like colorful palette and my first like... The first palette maybe I... Could I say that I was a little bit afraid of it? Do you... <laughs> do you get what I mean by saying that? And then I just continue on buying palettes because back in the days I think the US Place was really unique. Um, it was a brand that was easy to get a hold of in Sweden because you can buy them from Beauty Bay. And that is also like another story. This, they are not longer on Beauty Bay, I guess. They wasn't for because they were launching a European site what I know that European site has never arrived <laughs> which is annoying I have never bought from their US site I know that they ship to Sweden but I have bought all my US place from Beauty Bay and yeah back then Maybe 2018, 2019, I did really love US Place because it was such... It was like palettes that I couldn't find anywhere else. And there was really like... They are really pigmented and the shimmers are really good. At least in almost all of the palettes. And they were really like special. There wasn't something that similar that I have ever tried before and... I did just love it so much, but then they started with their smaller palettes and I think it was somewhere there like I I lost it with US Place and also like I found other brands that had more fun color stories and they went into like lipsticks and everything and highlighters and the blushes. They have had two blush palettes I think since like really early on. And concealers and foundations and stuff which is eye coverage and that is not my, that is not my thing. And I guess that were somewhere there. I, I don't think that UVS turned bad. Like, I think they still had quality, but it felt like there was too many other brands that did kind of like the same thing. And that uh, <laughs> did it maybe a little bit better and more interesting, like, at least for me. So I wasn't like as amazed by UVS as I was in the beginning. And I, one part of me think that is sad, like... Uh, I have had other brands that I like have fallen out of love with 
and that is a little bit sad but at the same time you do evolve your style you find other brands i think that it's like with everything in your life you maybe love a new type of food a new tv show new movies i guess that is has everything with like evolving but when i think back i do really loved my us and i think that us place week was the first theme week i ever did and um, theme weeks is kind of like my thing now and i maybe have to thank us place for that because that week was so fun and i did really love that and okay I don't know if this is like the look that you think that you are going to get out of this. I have used these two, this one and this one. I do like it. I will do my base and I think I actually will go in with this as my unicorn highlight. This is a really amazing shade it is. I can't like it's shift to green. So I hope that will look cool in my inner corner. Just going in with this pukey dirty shade a little bit more here. Okay, so I will fix my base. And I do have a problem with my eyebrows because my eyebrow... Apparently, eyebrow powder in Sweden isn't like super popular. Because I haven't run out of mine. I tried to buy a new one today. That is another story. So, okay, I'm going to fix my base. Hopefully my brows, I will see what I have. And uh, we're going to put on the red together. I don't know which one I want. Maybe a more. Maybe I know which one. So, base, base fixing and then I'll be back. And the problem with my eyebrow powder is that um, it's gone. <laughs> I did use this up and I thought that I had more uses out of it. I did not and now I'm in a little bit crisis because I don't know which one to buy. But enough about that. Today I took um, a contour from Nabla that is called Gotham. Yeah, I don't think it was a good choice. But this was not about my eyebrows. Um, for my lips I have taken these two from Colourpop, two lipsticks. One is Love Life, that is kind of a bright, bright but muted red, and the other one is Prairie Home, that is more muted, and I don't know, I was thinking about Love Life, but maybe this is going to be a little bit light, and maybe, I think I'm going with this other one. This Love Life have though be one of my absolute favorite reds for a while. I'm going in with this one. And this I think was just... Um, it came out with one summer collection I guess. I don't know. I think this was good. I do like these lipsticks from Colourpop. I think they are easy to put on. And they are like comfortable. This is one of the matte x like extra matte i do do still don't think it's really nice so okay so this is the finished look with the tri palette and i do really like this look i think it's orange it's orange it's an orange look but it's something a little bit more and I guess that this was all. I don't know if I have anything more to say so this came out to be like a US place video where I talked about that I think that me US Place has broken up a while back. Uh, for my face I did use my contour stick from Sadora and my soft nude two reasons from Nabla. I did use both of these and I actually did a thing that I didn't thought I was going to. I did open this one. 
I usually only want to have like one foundation when I'm filming but I've been missing this so much this is the bear with me tinted skin wheel from NYX which is discontinued and I don't get why because this is amazing but yeah that was all for this video I do really hope that you liked it and it is not that many videos left is it three videos in this 14 days I think so and this has been more fun than I thought it was going to be and I have really enjoyed like to use palettes that I don't think some of these I would have used because I do love them but some of them it has just been so fun to use them and like taking them and do looks that uh, yeah, I don't know, it just has been fun. I don't know where I wanted to go with that. It has been fun to use all of these palettes. And I haven't used a US Place palette for... Maybe it wasn't that long ago because I did a throwbacks video. And I use the Zulu palette. But the US Place isn't like a brand that I use anymore. because Not because it's cancelled. But just, yeah, we have broken up. And I don't know, is it cancelled anymore? I have no idea, I'm not a part of that that YouTube <laughs> sphere. But yeah, I do really like... Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what? I need to eat, I think. I do really hope that you have liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!